Welcome to the season finale of Getting Over the Hump. Today, Wednesday, my favorite day of the week with your boy, Phoenix Born. Today is gonna be a little bit longer than normal, obviously being the last word of the block. Last week, we talked about emotional slash emotional stress. Just, we're human because we have emotions. That's pretty much it. This week's word is fatigue. All it is, is extreme tiredness from physical activity, mental activity, or emotional activity. And I'm going to show you how fatigue and your journey go hand in hand. So let's compare your journey from within as you as a person to a house. A house has at least three structures. The physical portion, which is usually the drywall, the wood, the bricks, how it's made. You have the mental side, which is the wiring, the AC unit, stuff that makes things work, the brain per se. And then the emotional side would be inside the house. What makes a house a home, the way you decorate it, the way it's organized, the way family and friends interact once they're all together. So when you see it like this, you begin to wonder, okay, well, this doesn't make any sense. A house is a house. And you're right, a house is just a building with four walls. It's easier said than done when there's nothing wrong with the house. Let's say you forget to clean for a few days. Well, no big deal. You clean throughout the week. Not that hard, you know, you can schedule it. You can either do it in a day or some people have to do it throughout the week. Let's say the AC unit is starting to go bad and you're still behind on cleaning. Okay, that's not as simple. You have to somehow fix the AC unit. So you may have to get a repair you got to see if you have the cash for it and clean your house. Still not impossible, just a bit harder. If it keeps adding up, it becomes a problem in a sense where now your body's becoming stressed out. And when all three of structures of the house start to fail, let's say a leak in the roof, AC not working, a mess inside the house, you're disorganized and nothing's working. So now you're trying to balance your work life, cleaning the house, getting the repairs done, social life, business venture, school. You're trying to do so much in your journey that you don't know what to do. And what ends up happening is we have to take drastic measures and we'll go back to the house. You may have to take on some debt. You may have to move out for a little bit or you may have to fix it yourself just to get by. And as the problems keep occurring, and if you don't fix it in time, the house is now under fatigue, causing you to fatigue. You're not focusing at work. You're really not paying attention to anything around you. You're so stressed out that you're starting to collapse. And that's how fatigue starts to set in. You're not being able to do anything going forward in your journey. That's how stress affects the body. When you have physical stress, mental stress, and emotional stress at play, it takes a huge toll on the body. Physical stress, that's not an issue. You just go ahead and sleep, or you take a nap, or you exercise, or you meditate. You do stuff to let the body physically recover. Mental and emotional stress, that's a bit different. You have to find a way to calm your mind and control your emotions in the chaos that you're in. That is not very easy. Some people can do it. I've gotten better at it. Um, just with little tips and tricks I've mentioned in the past. But to do everything at once, to try to rest, to try to let your mind sleep, to try to let your emotions just stay calm, it is not the easiest thing in the world, especially when you're starting a new journey. You're trying to concentrate at work, but you can't. You're trying to stay rational and calm, but you're flustered with emotions. You try to wake up to be productive, but you physically are too tired and you keep at it and over and over and over and the body just doesn't want to deal with it anymore. You don't pay attention at work. You don't focus on your, stu your school, sorry about that, or your business venture or any projects you do or hobbies. You don't talk to friends or family. You alienate yourself. You do everything that's the opposite of your journey when you're supposed to be enjoying your journey making new friends, new connections, trying out new hobbies, being excited every day, 
or the most majority of the days, that's what you want to do. But fatigue doesn't work that way. Fatigue just drains you so much that you just don't care. And you just say, you know what? I really don't, I don't care. I'm just going to not do it. I'm just going to do my own thing, do what I got to do and forget it. And what your body is trying to tell you is I need a complete shutdown. I need a complete reset. I need to rest and I need to recharge. Some people can recharge in a week. Some people recharge in a month. Some people recharge in a few months, all the way up to a year. You do what you gotta do to recharge and let your body know, okay, I'm hearing you and I understand that I'm so stressed out that I'm fatigued, but I need to take care of myself so I can accomplish whatever journey I'm in. I got a business to run. I got a degree to finish. I have friends and family who are counting on me. I have people to make sure that they know I'm there and I'm at my best. That's how you combat fatigue. You tackle the problem little by little. So you figure out what's important in your life. You find a new job or you find a new career. You find a new hobby. You figure out what's consuming so much of your time that you tell yourself, you know what? This doesn't benefit any me. This doesn't, sorry, this doesn't benefit me anymore. We're gonna find something else. You find a new hobby or you just find a new passion. You do what you gotta do to recover because when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Yes, the journey got really difficult that you crash, but that didn't mean you quit. You never told yourself, I give up. You had some mishaps, you had some failures, but you kept pushing forward because that's what you do. It is nerve wracking when you have to start your journey again after recovering. You have to be confident in your ability and you have to believe in yourself that you can do this. You have to remember why you started. Yes, we were full of energy in the beginning of your journey. We all are. Things happen in life. You got tired, you didn't care, you were on the verge of quitting, but you didn't. And then you found a ways to overcome it. And then when it got really tough, you had a moment where you have to tell yourself, is this really what I want to do? And you have to remind yourself of your why, whether it's in the morning or in the evening or in the afternoon. I'm a night person, so my best work is in the evening. That's why I like to stay up late. Yeah, it sounds counterproductive, but that works for me. And what works for me may not always work for you, but you can take this tip and adjust it to your style. And that's all I really want to say in this season is you can do this, but you got to keep pushing forward. And people are going to make fun of you and they're going to laugh at you and they're going to talk crap behind your back and they'll do whatever they can to stop you. But you have to keep pushing forward and you get yourself with like minded people. And when you do that, you're unstoppable. There's nothing that can stop you. You keep going until you reach the end. You finish when you complete that business venture, when you get your degree, when you build new relationships, a new circle of friends. You found new passions. You, you've done everything in your power to complete your journey. And that's all I wanna tell you is, it is going to get tough, but the tough get going. So what are you waiting for? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Not only today's video, but all the videos I posted. It was a way for me to help out everybody in a way where if I couldn't reach out to you guys, then I, here's the video to help you. I did put a lot of time and effort into it. I really found a, an awesome passion in it. I didn't think I was gonna like it this much, but I really like helping others and motivating others because these are tips and tricks I've learned over the past years. I've, I've learned a few a few months ago and I've learned some several years ago. And I just wanted to show to you guys, hey, you're not alone and you'll be surprised who goes through stuff like this and as always i hope you guys enjoyed the video if anybody you think needs to hear this video go ahead and share it to them and as always stay blessed and have a good day bye